Well, it's not very often that you get to go to a red carpet premiere in Ireland, but this time around we're here for the Jameson Dublin International Film Festival, where one of the most prolific actors of our time is of course up for an Oscar nomination for his role in There Will Be Blood. It is Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel, Hi, Lisa Cannon from TV3. Hi, Hello and welcome home. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> thanks. It's nice um, to be home. Good. Congratulations on the su success of the movie. I mean, the reviews have been unbelievably brilliant, as is your performance. Um, as one of the most prolific actors of our time, may I say that, um, do you go on any own personal journeys yourself in the characters that you've played over the years? Well, I'm sure you, I'm sure, I'm sure you do in a certain kind of a way, but the... Uh, the impression that you have that is that uh, is that you're exploring somebody else's life, but I've no doubt that to be able to do that, I suppose, in a way you, you explore your own. Um, you try and you try and sling a bridge between the two. Mm. And uh, do you think, in, in terms of this character that you portrayed, I know you did an awful lot of research, and everybody's well aware of what yeah, you I do. To Derek produce. in the back garden, apparently, as well. <laughs> did you? Any oil findings there? there? No, nothing. nothing. <laughs> Looking for gold now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I say I'm an oil man, you will agree. Well, I've traveled across half our state to be here and to see about this land. I'm a family man. This is my son and my partner, H.W. Plainview. Did you enjoy that process? It was a little bit different, maybe. I do. From... I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like food and drink to me. And I got a long time this, on this uh, one because we couldn't get anyone to write a, a check for the, for the film. So we had over a year to, to, to get ready. But it's really... You know, bearing in mind you never fully explore your own life in the course of a lifetime. You can't really put a limit on the time you spend exploring somebody else's, so... I've abandoned my child. I will never backslide. I will never backslide. I was lost, but now I am found. I was lost, but now I'm found. I have abandoned my child. Say it. Say it. I abandoned my child. Say it louder. Say it louder. I've abandoned my child. I've abandoned my child. I've abandoned my boy. I read now whether this is true or not, but it's a, between a, a bit of a mix between madness and fever that you have when you're making a movie. Is, is that true? It's a kind of a fever, I think it is. Yeah, it is a kind of a fever. It's um, it, it's it's not a bad feeling. It's just uh, it's a feeling that you're. You're just living closer to the, the borderline of chaos than you do normally. <laughs> anyway. Any plans to work together again? Because I did see The Ballad of Jack and Rose. It was wonderful. And um, I really wanted to know, any plans to do it again? Well, Maybe? we're always talking about it. Yeah. I hope so. It's up to her, really. It <laughs> look like you want to do something <laughs> different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please work on something together. Thank and you. uh, you're delight. Thanks wonderful. Very Thank, Thank you very much. Get out of here, devil! I have a competition in me. I want no one else to succeed. 